Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. My hope is to try and use this channel a little more frequently than I have been, just to chat about music, chat about video games, chat about stuff that makes people feel good. Uh, so today we're going to get on that road. We're going to talk about an album from a, uh, a ska punk staple. This is the fourth album by Less Than Jake, Borders and Boundaries. It was put out in October 24th, 2000 on Fat Records. Uh, it's the follow-up to Hello Rockview, which was definitely like their big breakthrough album. That's, uh, that's kind of where I knew a lot of their music, but this is actually the first album of theirs that I bought when I started buying music from good old AMB Sound for, for folks on the west coast of Canada that remember that place. Um, so generally speaking, this album, it's really, really good, but often overlooked. It's definitely a transition album from their ska punk kind of very upbeat and frenetic uh, sound into their more kind of rock uh, rock and pop punk noise that would sort of carry them on for the next two albums after this. Um, the production, the guitars are really, it's definitely a guitar forward album, really crunchy, really uh, heavy is a term, and you, you usually don't describe ska punk as being that heavy, uh, but this certainly carries that. Um, it's a fantastic album. I think this is actually my original copy. It's got this cool, cool wheelie on the back. Lots of fun. Um, so let's go through some of the tracks. So we start off with Magnetic North and then into Keo. Really good openers. They really set the tone for kind of what to expect for the rest of the album. They're not my favorite tracks on the album. There's only like a couple tracks on here that I could kind of go, eh, not the best. But these two, these are really strong openers. Uh, Suburban Myth is track three. That's one of my highlights. That really captures that kind of uh, lyrical style that Less Than Jake is really known for. I don't know how to describe it longing for a nostalgia that you can still tap into. That might be the best way to put it. That sounds really sappy, but sometimes their lyrics are really sappy, but it actually, it works really well. Um, track four, Look What Happened. I think that's probably the, the breakaway hit from this album. They would end up re-recording it on Anthem, the album after this. Uh, I like that recording a bit more, but it's really good on here as well. Um, I, again, I don't think it's one of the stronger tracks on here, but it did become the hit for a reason. Lyrically, again, really, really strong. Um, after that, Hell Looks a Lot Like L.A. is a lot of fun. Mr. Chevy Celebrity, that's maybe the first uh, track on here that I feel is a bit of a dip. It's still really good. Again, there's only a couple songs on here that I could maybe leave off, but generally speaking, it's, it's another, another really good hit. Uh, Gainesville Rock City. That's another banger. That's a good one. That's very much a rock tune. Uh, I mean, it's called Gain Gainesville Rock City. They're from they're from Florida. Um, in fact, this is a map of Florida right there. You can see Gainesville. Um, just banging, banging rock tune. Always a favorite. If you get to see them live, it's a great, great track to see live. I follow that malt liquor tastes better when you've got problems, bad scene, and a basement show. Uh, and then is this thing on? That might be my favorite track on here, is this thing on. Um, Less Than Jake lyrically have a really good way of writing relatable lyrics, but they relate to you at different points in your life. Um, you know, I was listening to this as a, a wee teenager, and it hit one way, and as an adult, I listen again, and it, it gets me in a very different way. Um, is This Thing On is, I think, one of the tracks that does that really, really well. Uh, Pete Jackson is Getting Married, a short song. Uh, I think this one could be taken off like it's cute. It, you get the idea. It's it's a personal song written from a personal experience, but it doesn't really add much to the album, especially this because of the rock production on here. Uh, it feels like a lot of a, a heavier album. Again, weird to say heavy, but it feels like a heavier album. Um, but on here, it, 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 this track is kind of fun and bouncy and doesn't really mesh as much with the rest. Following that, you got 1989, good song. Last Hour, The Last Day of Work. Um, that's probably the other track on here that I could give or take. It's, it's okay, but uh, I think some of the ideas it brings up are brought up in, in stronger tracks on here. Uh, bigger Picture and then Faction. Both are really good. Bigger Picture would be another highlight of mine. Um, I really like Faction because lyrically it connects well with Anthem. Um, uh, there's a lot of lyrics on this song and on this album in general that connect with the idea of being an anthem and, and dynamite, which dynamite is on the cover of the album Anthem. If, if you've seen that cover, um, I don't have my copy easily available without uh, destroying something precious. Um, 
but I feel like maybe that was a track too they could have used on that album. But it fits really well here. It's a really nice closer. Um, in general, yeah, this feels like an overlooked album. People think of Hello Rockview and earlier, Pezcore, Losing Streak, stuff like that, thinking, you know, that's that's when I got into Third Wave Ska. Obviously, Anthem was another major success for them, um, with She's Gonna Break Soon, getting, you know, radio play and all that. Um, but this one is overlooked, um, but I think it's, it's super worth checking out. It's uh, got a lot of really good tracks that they still do live, still a really big part of their catalog. And uh, yeah, Less Than Jake, Ska Punk. I know people don't listen to too much Ska Punk, but I think if you listen to this, there's a, a lyrical and musical maturity here that I think could draw folks in. So if you're new to the genre, maybe you've heard the Interrupters a lot and you want to go back and hear some, some Ska Punk from before. Uh, Less Than Jake, Borders and Boundaries, released in 2000. Check it out. Be well.